Hey guys, short intro today. The title says it all. 450 hours of content jam-packed into this video. So let's get to it. All right, so we did about 10 hours or so of agility. Um, really, really good. We got a lot of Amalus crystals, which is just a lot of Herbler XP, which is also good. And we're getting Staminas, which is three times good because Stamina is basically, you know, like close to double the XP rates you get at the, uh, the library for runecrafting XP. So pretty nice. We're just going to make these super energies all into Stamina Potions. Sort of a tedious process, but you know, it's UAM. It's what you got to do. So hopefully these four pies will last us long enough to make all of them. I don't think they will, but we'll see. Uh, there's 85 agility, clean looking level. I think that's like the highest level we need for um, diaries, for elite diaries. But uh, I didn't think we'd be getting that, but we got it. Uh, we need about six more marks of grace to finish off this stack of super energies. And then we're gonna go work on grinding out 77 room crafting. Honestly, staminas are pretty sick. I'm pretty, I like kind of shocked that we even have access to them, but luckily we can manage to boost. It's gonna be the first grind that we do on the account with staminas. Honestly, I'm a little bit excited for it. All right, the last of the agility potions. Let's go. Honestly, they should change the stamina potion name to like two times EXP for whatever skill you're running around and doing. Honestly, like I'm really excited to get 77 runecrafting. It's going to be super chilled AFK while we're editing videos or just playing on the main or doing whatever. 300k GP per hour for like extremely low effort. I am I'm pretty excited for this grind too. I kind of like Ar Arceus uh, runecrafting. It's like pretty stimulating, honestly. And with that's all done, let's go ahead and decant these bad boys. All right, so we got a couple little Amalus crystals left over. I don't think it's worth dropping to the main 36k, yeah. And uh, I believe we are ready to uh, we're ready to go do some rune crafting. So probably gonna don't even need to get teleports because we're just gonna go straight there and probably won't leave until we're done. All right, 62 rune crafting. That is the first level of the grind. Got a lot more levels coming, a lot more XP. And we're not getting 248 per book. Our XP rates are only 25k an hour. We haven't really been concentrating that hard. You guys have heard of V Chain? Me and a friend hold a V-Chain X node together. We're having some problems, so. For our, 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 it's XP waste, honestly. Hey, 63 rune crafting. I think we're now getting 252 XP per book. 64. That's uh, two to the sixth rune crafting. It's pretty cool. 65 rune crafting. Death runes. That is the requirement for the Ardoin hard diary. But we already did that because we boosted for it. Glug, glug, glug. 66 rune crafting. 67 rune crafting. We missed the 68 level, but there it is, 68. Honestly, I don't know what the problem is. Everyone always complains about rune crafting, saying it's all slow and stuff. I mean, sure, it's like slow. The library method's like pretty fun and stimulating. It's like a strategical mini game. You know, you have to like measure how far each book is from where you are, how much energy you have. You know, like if I go and get this one book, will I have enough time to get back to where I am to maintain high XP rates? Like what's the most efficient path to get to the, the next book I need to get and get back to turn them in to get the books and all that stuff. And there's level 70 rune crafting. Well, that's a beautiful sight, honestly. Uh, I only managed, we, we managed to get this from 62 to 70 in about a day. So getting some pretty good XP rates, but I'm pretty sure like aren't, Ultimate Iron Man's supposed to be like mining silver ore in a cave somewhere. Are we, are we really supposed to be getting 70 rune crafting? That's like a decent main account accomplishment, let alone a UIM. So the way that the uh, algorithms for, for the experience between levels happens, it's an exponential growth. As most of you probably know, level 92 is halfway between uh, one and 99. Um, that would mean that you're doubling your XP seven levels. You know, you're doubling your XP from level 92 to 99. So you can extrapolate that to pretty much any level. Um, every seven levels uh, requires doubling of XP. So since we're level 70 and we want to hit level seven, that means for seven levels, we have to double our XP. We need 738,000 XP, uh, which just basically means that all of the rune crafting on this account that we've ever done, we just have to do that one more time. We're halfway there. So <laughs> that's pretty, pretty weird to think about. And here's to another one of what we just completed. Um, our XP an hour is like 16k over the last 26 hours, so obviously we like slept during that and everything. Uh, and we gained 423k XP in those 26 hours, so I guess that's pretty good. 400k rune crafting XP. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh boy, 71 rune crafting. So a lot of people say that they don't like the library. Um, 
the way so some of the ways that i think about it that caused me to like it a lot it's well first first of all it's just like sort of stimulating it's very strategical it's very like there's a lot of optimization and it's like really it's really like deep it's really, it has a lot of depth in terms of the amount of optimization you can do um i'll get to that later but you know one of these tomes gives uh 284 xp at level 74 um you know that's sort of like a, a nature rune altar run you know like running to the nature altar with all your ex essence and here we're getting 284 it's essentially like at this at this point in the in the process we're just turning in like a nature rune run in every like two seconds rather than every like 45 seconds or whatever it takes for a nature rune run and you know every time i see a book i'm like oh i'm six seconds away from a nature rune run xp drop and you know when i can see like three books in the same area it's like oh well there's three nature rune runs in like 15 seconds of each other you know what i mean it's a method that just rewards like very very like willful like sincerely directed uh sincerely directed will it's like if you want to get good rates you'll get good rates if you put in the time to get good rates you'll get good rates and so it, it just it's just very rewarding it's very uh it's very accommodating you know if you want to be slow you can be slow if you want to be fast you can be fast it just and it, it's sort of like well will give it'll give you what's coming to you if you're comparing it to like normal rune crafting runs it's sort of like you don't really there's not really much variation there's not much variability in terms of normal rune crafting runs you sort of just do the same lap over and over and over there's not much input either it's pretty it's pretty lax you know you, there's not really well oh, oh <laughs> i guess that's 72 rune crafting this is really flying by honestly i'm, I'm enjoying this i'm honestly going to be sort of missing it when it's done but um like I was saying, just normal runecrafting runs will give, it's just very low variability. And so the amount of effort you put in doesn't really change the XP rates too much, unless you're talking about like lava runes or something. Um, if you're just like doing, if you're just doing like Orania Altar, um, for example, the only real uh, input differences you can, oops, that you can get is uh, just like quick banking, like zero tick banking, for example. But you know, that'll only give you like five, 10% increased XP per hour, which isn't like that significant. See, like there's three nature rune, nature room runs boom right there and the best part is, is that even though it's probably going to take me like 20 seconds to get through this and get back to where i was down the ladder i could see it i can see it all at all times you know and if you have gp mode on gpu mode on you can like see all of the books in the entire library so it's like even though i know i'm not going to get 77 room crafting today because that's like 600k xp i i can i feel as though if i try hard enough i can do it like the light at the end of the tunnel has been visible from the beginning if that makes sense so you know every time we pass by one of these dark manuscripts it's like right along the path we'll check it um there's 10 location there are 10 dark manuscripts uh if you successfully get one and you turn it in it gives you just a normal xp tome so randomly checking it if you don't know where it's going to be because it could be one and it, it could be because you know it could be one of any of the 10 locations um that would mean it would be an XP tome divided by 10. So an XP tome gives, you know, 288 currently at level 72, four times your level is 288. That would mean that roughly the amount of XP we'd expect to get from each Dark Manuscripts uh, location that wasn't confirmed to be the, uh, the actual location would be 288 divided by 10, so 28.8 XP. And since we want to maintain our book turning in quota as 150 books per hour, that would mean we would need one book every 24 seconds, right? Because 3,600 seconds per hour divided by 150 gives us 24. So we want to spend no more than 24 seconds per XP tome. So that would mean if uh, if we don't know where the Dark Manuscript is and we want to, the only time it would be warranted to check both of these is if it would be um, a 2.4 second detour to get back to where we were. It would be worth it to check it. So this one probably going to be like a you know 1.2 second detour two ticks probably three ticks but we just like sort of fucked it up right there so this was if it <laughs> that was uh effectively not worth it but the idea was worth it we just we our execution wasn't right and likewise that would mean um if you can get from where you are to a book to back to where you are in 24 seconds you will maintain um, at least 150 books turned in per hour, which is the rate that we're targeting. And if you want to target 120 books per hour, you know, um, then your rule of thumb would be a bit different. That would be, you know, 3600 divided by 120. That'd be a 30 second 
detour would be warranted to check a book. So this one's like right here, you know, it's right near the ladder. So that's good because every time you go up and down this ladder, we can grab it for free. And since we have an entire inventory full of books, we're not going to go up to the third floor right there when we were grabbing that one and like grab the rest of them because... I mean, we have a pretty decent chance to just, uh, ideally you, you want to spend as much time turning in books as possible. You don't want to be going around doing your entire lap of the library just to get one book, for example. I haven't really, I'm not like that good at math, so I don't have the calculation at, at which point it would be exactly optimal to go and do the whole run around the library or do like a half run. That's sort of just intuition. Um, right now we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's probably still worth it to continue doing the, the turn in sequence and like this one's right here so we'll just grab it you know um, it could be the case that he'll get give us this one right now and it could be the case that you know it won't happen for a while but i think it's probably worth it since it's right there that one's right there we had already clicked over here so we don't want we would have lost a few ticks had we gone for it but we'll probably go for it right now it also depends on the location of where they are sometimes this guy will stand over here or over there so that sort of plays into it as well and this is i mean this is like the 99th percentile of uh, tick being tick perfect probably doesn't really it's not necessary at all to consider any of this stuff but i'm trying to just get like the maximum xp rates because i find fun in the strategy there's a level 73 rune crafting 74 rune crafted we are getting there 300 rune crafting xp that means we gained a level 75 rune crafting giant pouches Imagine getting level 75 runecrafting without ever having used a pouch or a rune essence even. I mean, I, I guess we use like, I think we use like 5,000 rune essence so far on the account, but not much more than that. And uh, 75 looks really clean. We're, we're getting close to the end of the second day of training this, no life in it, and we're almost at 900k XP. So tomorrow, the third day, should be pretty easy. We have about six hours left of this of... We need 1475, so that's 265 KXP. It's more like five hours left of this, which isn't which isn't bad at all, honestly. I might even like, I'll probably do like another two hours tonight. It's like 1 a.m., but I'm kind of enjoying it. And yeah, so I'm just gonna talk for a sec about the reason why we're doing this at all. I probably already mentioned it, but in case you forgot, we want to do the Corrupted Gauntlet to grind efficient GP an hour. It ends up being 800K an hour if you can complete five per hour, which would mean one run per 12 minutes, which is like pretty average for an experienced PVMer. Our stats aren't that great, so we won't necessarily be completing them that fast. So we'll have to gauge the GP an hour based on what we end up getting, but it should be, it shouldn't be less than 700K an hour, which is significantly better than anything else that I can think of except for maybe Zolcano, but I'm pretty sure this is even better because you have to process all of the materials you get from Zolcano, um, which takes a long time. So, the Corrupted Gauntlet is being nerfed, and today is Wednesday. Yeah, today is Wednesday at 1 a.m., so we have about 36 hours until the update for um, this week on Thursday, usually is when it comes out, so we'll know by then. But uh, yeah, so if it turns out that the Corrupted Gauntlet isn't nerfed, we're going to go ahead and grind enough Blood Runes from 77 Runecrafting in order to get... Um, enough smithing levels to process all of our smithing materials we get from Zolcano and enough construction levels in order to store this hat, this hat, all of our hard clue stuff, and then here's our smithing materials, not too much, as well as get a bunch of, you know, a decent amount of fletching levels so we can, it's like our lowest scale pretty much, except for Slayer. So yeah, we'll spend about a week doing blood runes. Um, so we just did a little bit of calculating. Um, if we get up to 88 rune crafting, we'll get 36 mil GP which will get us the construction level we need. Uh, it'll also give us 77 mining and 80 crafting, which will be really useful. Just pass passively training those. With 80 crafting, we'll be able to make all of the jewelry we ever need, including unboosted glories, which is convenient. And uh, we'll be able to get rid of all of the stuff in our looting bag, clear it all up so that way we can do... And then if by that time we still don't have Corrupted Gauntlet unlocked for the efficient GP per hour for efficient construction training, we're gonna do Herbivore to level 93, or maybe we might even go all the way to 99 Hunter, but. 93 is the current goal, so we can barehanded catch dragon implings as well as crystal implings during the construction grind that we're going to be doing. And you know, blood runes, uh, blood rune craft crafting, you craft like uh, 1600 blood runes per hour and you sell them for 200 each to Ally Morrison, so it's like roughly 30 to 320k per hour, and it's really AFK. That'll be really nice. I think we're finally going to start heading back towards maxing the uh, the Iron Man if we do that because um, we're currently just doing a lot of clicks and click intensive activities and the only skills left to max on the Iron Man are smithing, construction, and prayer which are all click intensive. So getting 88 rune crafting will probably take around 100 hours, a little more, probably like 120 hours, um, which probably take like, you know, three weeks or so, three or four weeks. 
yeah, I've, I've sort of thought about releasing a little guide on how to do efficient library. I mean, uh, I was able to get 150 books using staminas and just like a decent rule of thumb method. I don't think I'm gonna make a guide though. If I, if I don't end up making the guide, then I'll include this in the video. 77 rune crafting. Members can now craft blood runes. Oh God, I can't believe it. We did it boys, 77. <laughs> That's honestly insane. That's a, uh, we can now boost for the, um, the Fremenic Elite Diary is 82, so we can boost for that. And we can also do the Karumja Elite, which is really useful, gives us an extra, yeah, that one's 76. So that gives us an extra block slot for Slayer, as well as the ability to use Fairy Rings without the Draymond Staff. And Draymond Staff is, like, always in the inventory, so that frees up, like, 1%. So that frees up, like, one spot in the inventory permanently, which is really nice. So, uh, Rune Light crashed towards the end there. Uh, we only gained 48k XP on this session, but I mean, I think we gained uh, around 1.2 million over the last uh, 30 or 72 hours. So <sighs> we did this. We did 62 to 77 in three days. I mean, I think we deserve a bit of a break. So I'm just gonna go set up to go train some rune crafting at the blood bloods. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty stoked, honestly. Honestly, blood runes are the best, man. Uh, 78 rune crafting. These levels are gonna be coming in pretty quick. Uh, we just spent, I don't know, that's like three and a half hours. We've been editing the video. We are, we've processed 23 minutes worth of clips. So probably gonna spend another three or four hours on it. It's uh, 1 a.m. So, but uh, yeah, pretty close to a mining level and a crafting level too, so. Also, I mean, I forgot to mention this, but we just hit 1800 total when we, before we even got 77 rune crafting, we, got that at level 76 rune crafting we were just like blazing through the level so we didn't even notice it but yeah 1800 total man i remember at 1700 we said here's 1800 now we're at 1800 i remember when we started this and it was at 1504 total i remember that was the very first thing i said on the first episode i was like oh the sorry man doesn't hasn't started at the beginning it's starting at 1500 total so everyone flame me but uh i didn't actually say that last part but anyway 1800 total man Here's to 1900. Imagine getting level 74 mining without ever having done mother load mine. Nice, 76 crafting. Um, crystal tools, nice. That's actually pretty useful since we're probably gonna be doing some gauntlet. By the way, everyone who like has a rune crafting pet here, I swear to God, I have to like check to make sure it's not mine every single five seconds. So it's pretty annoying. Mm -hmm. 80 rune craft level. That is a really nice looking. Oh god, twenty thousand blood runes. That's like four mil cash. We could we could get eighty construction right now if we wanted to, but I think we're just gonna chill here for a bit. I mean, I'm really enjoying this. It's super chill. It's just AFK. We just edited the last video. Managed to get around twelve thousand blood runes from that. So I've just been AFK in most of the day today too. Um, I'll put on the screen the uh, a clip of the most recent jagex old school update blog they said that the the gauntlet as well as the rest of the pole 70 updates will be rolled out in quote unquote in the coming weeks so i mean we were hoping to start the corrupted gauntlet today so we could get a bunch of gp to get like 90 construction or so um but so we'll have to wait at least another week and you know the coming weeks could be the coming weeks could be like five weeks six weeks like, i mean it wouldn't be wrong to say coming weeks if it was five weeks away but hopefully it'll be next week I, you know i'm not like i was like pretty excited thinking it might be this week so i'm not gonna make that mistake again <laughs> i was getting myself all riled up thinking we were gonna do the gauntlet today but any rune crafting man that's pretty nice also i guess i may as well just show you guys this real quick i took a couple notes on some of the stuff we want to achieve on the account in terms of gp that we would get from the gauntlet and rune crafting obviously is another way to get gp 90 fletching is 30 mil 88 construction is 13 mil, 88 smithing is 12 mil. Portal next is 40 mil to get all the teleports. Um, but most notably, like the occult altar, rejuvenation pool, and jewelry box. Those are all things that we really, really want to get. We already have enough blood runes. We have we need 17,000 blood runes for 80 construction, so we can get 80 construction right now if we wanted. But we're just going to chill here for a bit longer. We might even do this all week. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. I mean, we could just do this all the way to level 99. It'd be about 300 hours and we'd get about 100 mil which would cover everything that we just said we wanted to do. 
Uh, but I don't know. I don't think I want to do runecrafting all week. Um, but I don't know what else I want to do at this point. What I really want to do is efficient GP. And the most efficient GP, you know, best in slot GP, raw GP an hour is corrupt a gauntlet. But we can't do that. So, the next best thing I want to do is efficient skilling and wait for the corrupt gauntlet to be out. I mean, this is pretty efficient skilling, blood rune crafting. And it gets us, I mean, we could sell the, it ends up being like 330k GP per hour, which is not bad at all. And we could even sell the blood runes to go grab like 80 construction. If we did this all week, we could get 90 construction. I just don't know if I want to do that because these we're going to use these blood runes for barrage slayer. I might uh, I might just end up using these blood runes to, buy, to get us enough GP for, for like 76 construction so we could do a boost for the... Uh, costume room stuff like the uh, master clue like the costume box so we can store all of our clue gear that's in our looting bag so we can clear looting bag space so we can go do something like herbivore to level 99 hunter or something to get a bunch of herbs to get 82 herb lore so we can unlock the ornate rejuvenation pool because that's definitely a high priority i use that all the time on my main every five seconds i'm using that thing <sighs> but yeah i mean for now we're just going to be doing this uh there's 81 rune crafting i guess uh these levels are just sort of flying by um I kind of decided that I'm just going to be runecrafting until we get the Corrupted Gauntlet update, which will probably be next week or the week after. Um, the reason's because while we could sell all these blood runes to uh, fund like our construction grind and everything, um, it would be better to hold on to as many as we can for Barrage Slayer and like blood spells for like if we decide to go to Dagonoth Kings to get a Berserker Ring and stuff like that. You know, ideally we'd just be able to use all the GP we get from Slayer and Corrupted Gauntlet to fund all of our construction and viable needs such as, you know, fletching and smithing. So, yeah, and honestly I'm enjoying this quite a bit. So, probably just gonna stay here for until maybe 90 runecrafting or 88 or something like that. We'll end up getting a pretty decent. We'll end up getting around 80 crafting and 78 mining too, so not bad. 82 rune crafting. That's the uh, level for uh, for Minic Elite Diary. Spam clicking while AFK was bound to happen. 77 crafting, level 75 mining. I just absolutely love all the passive levels we're going to be getting from this. There's 83 rune crafting, flying on by. Oh, um, 84 rune crafting coming in on the ultimate iron man i hate myself for missing level 85 but there it is such a clean looking level 70k blood rune stack slowly but surely 78 crafting uh there we go yeah that's pretty nice honestly crystal equipment well there's level 86 rune crafting which is the highest level you need for the achievement diary in terms of rune crafting because you need 91 for the karemja elite diary and we can plus five boosts for that now so if we were going for the Achievement Diary Cape, we could stop here. But since we're not, we're not. Currently got the 86k stack going. Getting close to that juicy, juicy 100k white text stack. Man, Blood Runes are just like popping today. Look, at got the level 3, got all these pets, UIM, Ent. This guy's using Twisted League, Home Teleport. It's a good place to be. 76 mining, coming in. Honestly, these passive mining levels are super nice because... We're gonna have to do, well, eventually we plan to do Giant Mole to get a bunch of efficient farming XP and stuff, as well as the uh, bird nests for like mass sardom and brew making. And so we're gonna need Falador Hard Diary for that. And Falador Hard Diary requires full prospector. So every level we can get, so every mining level we can get before going to Motherload Mine is just like the icing on the cake here. Cause we're training rune crafting and we're getting like mining levels. So it's pretty, it's pretty nice, honestly. For those of you who don't know, I mean, Motherload Mine goes faster. If you're at a higher mining level, you get more nuggets per hour. So, I mean, if we started Motherload Mine at like level 99, for example, that'd be ideal. But we'll probably start at around level 80 or so. This is nice. Uh, yeah. 87 runecrafting. That might be the last level we get on this grind here because... The next level is in 400k XP, and today is Tuesday night, so if we do this all day tomorrow, we'll probably not get to 88, and then Thursday morning after that Wednesday night will be the next update, and I have a feeling that it's going to be the gauntlet. As soon as the gauntlet update comes and the nerf comes, we'll probably, we're going to go straight to the corrupted gauntlet and uh, see if we can complete it with these stats. So we're over here, and, and the altar is over there. But we got 88 rune crafting, as you can see, by this rune essence over here. Nine air runes. <laughs> okay, runescape has been updated. 
Let's see if the gauntlet update is out. More Chambers of Zarek improvements, vanguards, pets, and ornament kit, tool storage. Uh, they don't even mention the gauntlet at all, so... <sighs> okay. Honestly, I mean, that's fine. Like, I'd be pretty down to get 99 rune crafting before moving on with the account, because we'd also get 85 crafting, which is the level for the Amulet of Fury, as well as 82 mining. Which means we could like boost for the all the elite diaries we need. So that's pretty that'd be pretty sick. I mean also 99 rune crafting cape is like the best fashion scape in the game, so. Plus we'd get around 492k blood runes, which is like a hundred mil if we wanted it. Probably would never be able to use that many blood runes since we never planned to do theater of blood. But um so here's to another week of rune crafting, and then maybe even two or three weeks. Currently we uh you know we're 9 mil, 8.7 mil XP off of 99, and we're getting like 30k an hour because we're doing it pretty lax. So, is that like 200 and, 290 hours left? So, we're doing like 10 hours a day, so 29 days, so 30. So, we have like a month before 99 moon crafting, and so probably gonna do that, I suppose. <laughs> One XP to level 79 crafting. That's such a love to see, man. Uh, that's like a hard, that's an elite clue step, so forgot about all the black dragon hide stuff we'll be able to craft. Also, we'll be able to get rid of the black dragon hide that's in our looting bag taking up space. I think that's level, what is it, like level 89 or something? Um, 84 is by the, wow, I didn't even think about that. So we'll be freeing up two inventory spaces by getting 85 crafting from 99 rune crafting. I forget if I already mentioned that, but I feel like I'm going to be going for 99 rune crafting and get 85 crafting and 82 mining along the way. But, uh, I mean, honestly, like, uh... Every single level that we get from crafting is a level that we're not doing from lantern lenses, which is like much less XP than Dorgishan orbs, which is what you unlock at 87. So this is like a pretty efficient thing to do to get 99 rune crafting here. We'll be getting 100 mil in blood runes. You know, we'll have more blood runes than we can ever use. Maybe we'll splash to get like 99 magic or something. I don't know. But we're also getting a lot of inefficient MLM XP out of the way. And you know, if we started Mother Lone Mine at 82 mining, we'd be getting like way higher XP than if we started at 76. So I'm pretty pumped about this. This is just like really good to do. It's sort of synonymous with like starting off your account with getting 99 fishing like we did and you also get 75 strength and 75 agility. Like this is the same idea you get, except we're getting 85 crafting and 82 mining. Like the first agility course we ever did was Sears Village. Like that's pretty efficient. That's pretty good to do. I just wanted to share this with you guys before I went to bed. This is sort of like an average day of what I've been getting for the past couple weeks while we wait for the corrupted gauntlet to come, the updates to come out. Uh, this blood runes like 38k an hour XP, so this is like 10 hours of efficient blood rune crafting, which is 60k crafting and 44k mining XP. Um, I just wanted to share that. It sort of occurred to me I could be doing like daily updates at the end of every day with the amount of XP I got, but it's pretty much the same every day. Sometimes I get above 400k and sometimes I get below 300k, but you know. I've been playing a lot of Civilization 6 recently while I do this on the side, so it makes the time fly by. But seeing this blood rune stack go up is like really satisfying for some reason. I don't know. Just like the white text is nice and I don't know. It's just like really nice. It's be really useful to use those up. 89 a rune crafting. So it sort of just occurred to me that since we have a full inventory when we're rune crafting, we actually aren't getting a roll on the pet every time. Uh, we realized this at four point, basically five million experience. We've been missing out on the rolling on the pet. So uh, we're just gonna put it, the Tangra root in the house. And then that way we can, I think going from level 79 to level 77 to level 99, you have like a 50% chance to get the Rift Guardian pet from Blood Runes. So luckily we realized it pretty soon in the grind. We still have like 9 million or like 8.4 million XP to go. So that would be honestly, like I've said that the uh, Tangra root is my favorite pet, when I got that, but like, I never really considered the the chance to get the Rift's Guardian. Like, honestly, the Rift's Guardian is the sickest pet. Tangaroo's probably like second, but if we can get that, I mean, we got a 50%, probably have like a 40% chance now that we started trying to get it so late, but um, yeah, let's hope we get it. That'd be so sick. It's a 1 800,000 drop per rune that we craft. So, I mean, we crafted 138,000 runes with a pet the whole time, which is kind of lame because like a quarter of this grind, we weren't rolling a chance on the pet, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can get it. We have about 360,000 blood runes to go. So that's like, you know, yeah, it's like a 40% chance to get the pet by the time we're 99. 77 mining. You love to see it. 
<laughs> God damn it. If there's any level to get, it's level 90. We just unlocked soul runes, hit level 90 rune crafting, but we just spam click it because we're just AFK in this, so. There's level 90. Ugh, <sighs> 80 crafting pretty soon. Also, coincidentally, uh, Ironscape, which is like the Iron Man community, um, for Reddit, is having the skill of the week this week is rune crafting. So, we're gonna compete, we're competing with nine other people to see how well we're gonna do. Um, but supposedly, I mean, this guy, H. Lau, he's actually the number one hardcore Iron Man for rune crafting. Uh, so I don't think we're gonna be, be able to compete with that. He's gotten 98 crafting from 88 million rune crafting XP. He's rank one, rank four agility too. I don't know how he, why he would do that, but there it is. He is already dominating the competition. So I think if we update this, I'll probably get to like 250K or something, but yeah, 269K. So we're still in second place or third place. Um, but I mean, <laughs> this guy, H. Lau, if you go, I went to the monthly chart for this on CM, on Crystal Meth Labs, Crystal Math Labs, sorry. Uh, he's gained 16 million XP in the last month, which works out to 11.1 hours per day of like tick perfect soul rune crafting. So I think he's probably going to win this. The winner gets a bond, so you know, stakes are pretty high. Not really. 80 crafting. That is a nice looking level. That's Glories and Handy Crystal Keys, Eternal Crystal Teleport. That is a clean level. Pretty happy about that, honestly. We no longer have to boost a boost to make Glories when we get the uh, Ornate Jewelry Box. We'll be set for that. Um, man, that's really great. Man, we are just, like, flying through these levels. We haven't, we haven't managed to catch a single one in, like, forever, it feels like. But there's level 91. That's the level you need to... Uh, craft double nature runes i believe yeah double nature runes that's like huge that's a huge level back you know back in the day that was like the best money maker um back when old school runescape started and even back in like you know 2009 2007 that was what you did for money because i mean back in 2007 they didn't, they didn't have god wars you know obviously they didn't have vorkath and zora and all that stuff they had they had dagonoth kings that was like Dagonoth Kings and Calfight Queen were the only bosses in the game in 2007. So if you wanted to make money, you either did those or you like you got 91 rune crafting. Even today, 91 rune crafting will get you like a, you know one two mil an hour or something like that, 1.5 mil an hour. I don't know. So yeah, that's a massive level. We're we're getting close to 200k blood runes as well. Another passive mining level coming in here, level 78. You love to see it. This is nice. 81 crafting. 93 rune crafting from venerating the essence. Well, there's level 80 minus one mining. So, uh, I don't normally give coverage on this kind of thing, but this is a special genie lamp because, I mean, we've been lamping a lot lately because we've been at rune crafting for so long. There's 750 rune crafting XP and 76 herb lore, magic potions, beautiful. So, we are about halfway from ninety from seventy seven to ninety nine rune crafting forty two k for a level. Uh, the reason I know that is because we're gonna end up with five hundred k blood runes by the time we're done with this, and we hit two hundred fifty k just a little bit ago. But the reason for this clip is to show you the results of the weekly Ironscape skilling competition. Um, if we refresh this, we should see. You know, I thought there was like no doubt in my mind we were gonna win this. We're playing like ten hours a day. I mean, seriously, this guy H Lao. Uh, Got like nearly twice the amount of experience as I did. He was playing 14 hours a day, tick perfect, tick perfect, efficient soul rune crafting. So we're doing like lax blood rune crafting. So he out, he beat us. Cheers to that guy, H. Lau. He's the number one uh, hardcore Iron man ranked for rune crafting. So congrats to him. Um, I mean, we still we still did pretty good. Like if we look back at this, 208, two point, basically 2.9 million XP in one week's time. So. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 you know, honestly, like I, like I just said, there's like no doubt in my mind that we weren't gonna win, just because I'm a winner. I like to win. I, I, I'm pretty competitive. So, shout out to that guy. He, he's, he's earned a gold star in my book. Well, there's 94 rune crafting. That is a massive level. We are like, uh, if we say we're at eight mil, then that means we're like five mil away from 99 which is like, see if we're getting 33k an hour, 5 mil XP, that means a mil XP is 33 hours, 
So about 160 hours from 99. It's quite a ways. But I'm enjoying this. This is like super passive, super AFK. Can't believe I'm doing this, honestly. I was like enjoying this account so much. And now I'm just like doing this most basic AFK, super long grind. But it's going to be worth it. 85 crafting is going to be worth it. 82 mining. 100 mil and blood runes. It's going to be worth it. 82 crafting. Not bad. Dragon hide traps. Nice. We can finally get rid of the black dragon hide traps that are... I've been sitting in our looting bag. Feels good, man. 95 rune crafting. Big level that unlocks wrath runes, uh, which is really useful if we ever decide to do Chambers of Zarek. I mean, want to clear the ice demon room real quick. We'll just go make some wrath runes rather than having to kill Vorkath for them. So that's really awesome. That's like a massive level. 95 rune crafting. Four more for 99. Roughly uh, 4.1 mil XP. So that's like a little over 100 hours. Um, I did not see that coming, but there is level 80 mining. That is kind of crazy. 80 mining done. Wow. 96 rune crafting. Still no pet, unfortunately. Maybe we'll get it along the way. There's like a 50% chance you get the pet on the way to 99. So I don't know. We'll see. Also, this, since this grind is so AFK, I've been doing a lot of uh, work on maxing the main. We're just uh, 10 levels away from maxing. We need seven prayer levels and four construction levels. So should be maxing in the next, uh, I don't know, two or three days or so. Pretty cool. Also, um, that's a million XP for a level. So it's about, you know, 30, 33 hours for a level. It's like a while. 83 crafting. Nice. 97 rune crafting. That's like my favorite level, honestly, because like 98, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're like basically there, but 97 is the last like real level on the grind. So 1.1 million XP to 98. Level 81 mining. Not bad. Should be getting one more mining level from this grind. This is nice. So for the majority of this series, we've been letting our clips pile up. Uh, we've been recording intros and outros for each video about a month past when the clips were made. Um, this grind has taken us a long time to do, and because of that, we've managed to catch up with all of our clips have been as we've been releasing videos throughout this time. Uh, here we are at the Blood Altar. Um, this is going to be level 80, level 98 rune crafting coming in here. We are one level away from level 99, and as of right now, we are currently all caught up. This is the last clip that we've created, so I'm going to try and keep that trend going throughout and like upload videos as we make them, rather than having them pile up too much. Eight mine runes per essence, definitely going to be using that one. That's level 84 crafting, second to last level of the grind, and that unlocks black dragonite body, which means we can finally clear that spot from our looting bag. 82 mining. That means we can plus three boost to complete every diary in the game. Well, it looks like we made it. 1500 XP to 99. We got the fragments right here. I didn't make you count them. Nice. Uh, I'm kind of sad that it's over. We started this grind on May 20th and now it's June 20th. So it took us exactly one month to get from level 77 to level 98 and almost to 99, which we are going to get. right now. Ninety-nine rune crafting on the ultimate Iron Man has been achieved. Oh man. What a beautiful sight. Two death runes per each essence. So we're going to go ahead and end the video with 99 rune crafting. If you made it to the end and you're not subscribed, you're literally crazy. Like I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video, 450 hours went into this. So I'd really appreciate any support you guys want to give. Like, comment, subscribe, anything like that. Message me in game if you want. Um, let me know that you either you like it or you dislike it. Feedback's greatly appreciated. And uh, thanks for watching. I love you guys. Take care. Stay safe out there. Until next one. Peace.